Welcome back to the Locked Out Men Podcast Show. And in this segment of Breaking Truckers, we're going to look at this clip right here. And, and truck drivers, listen, before I show this clip, man, because this, this resonate with you guys. This going to resonate with you guys. You guys are in the system. You guys have babies that you guys is taking care of. And you guys are, are you know, in family courts. And not only that, y'all on child support, right? A lot of, a lot of, a lot of you truck drivers out here are on child support. Now, being that you making this kind of money, I'm sure child support is kind of hitting them pockets. They hitting them hard and they hitting them heavy. But, but I, I did two reactions. I did two reactions so far. One, when the guy was in court, paternity court, and found out that he was not the father of that kid. And he spent five years in prison for non-payment of child support. Now, I talked about that in the previous video. But in this clip right here, we about to see that this young lady got a text message over here talking about that the guy or the baby's father had gotten a raise or a promotion. She went to go and get more money. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. My baby daddy got promoted, so I appealed for more child support. He ordered a DNA test and my son failed. He put the results in my mailbox. I forgave myself for cheating, but he he's being petty. He's been my son's dad for eight years. Why ghost my child now? How to fix it? That's not a son. You got greedy, sis. You got greedy. And because of your greed, he decided to get that DNA test. He probably wanted it all along. He ain't the one that sprayed up the wall, sis. Time to find a real dad. That's what happens when you're greedy. Truck drivers, have you guys ever been in a situation like that for real? Have you started making that six figures that you was sorely chasing when you got into the industry? Then all of a sudden, you get a, you get a note in the mail that says, hey, we know that you're making six figures now. We need to, we need to augment your child support. So instead of paying that good $500 a month, now you paying in an excessive $1,000 a month. But come to find out that it wasn't the court that petitioned for the raise. It was the baby's mom. So what do you do in that situation? Other than get upset, which, which, I understand because I would be too. I'm, I'm paying my kid $500 a month, coming over every weekend, taking care of him, taking him to Disneyland, getting him the diapers and all like that, the Similac and everything, you know, and still giving $500 a month. But then I get my promotion. I get that six-figure salary that I was sorely chasing. And now you're coming for more money now let's just say i was going to give more money to you anyway but no you wanted to put it in the system what do you do truck drivers what do you what do you do if you're put in the system by a greedy baby mom so what would you do in that situation drivers the baby's mom went to court petitioned to get more money out of you and and now here you are getting hemmed up for about an extra 500 or an extra grand. Well, this dude went and got a paternity test. Now, why did he get a paternity test? We will never know. <laughs> we will never know why he went to go and get a paternity test. But it's a good thing that he did. It's a good thing that he did. He got a paternity test, find out that the kid was not his. 
there's a common theme here. There really is. And this is something that goes on a lot. Drivers, let me know in the comments below if this have impacted you at one point or another. Was you taking care of a kid that you thought was yours, but you find out that it's not yours? Let us know in the comments below, man. But she's wondering, she's wondering that the guy been taking care of the kid for eight years. Now he ghosted the kid. She want to know how to fix it. <laughs> how to fix it? Fix it. That's not his son. You got greedy, sis. You got greedy. And because of your greed, he decided to get that DNA test. He probably wanted it all along. He ain't the one that sprayed up the wall, sis. Time to find a real dad. That's what happens when you're greedy. Ain't no fixing in that. Ain't, ain't no fixing in that. Nah. Old boy just found out that that was not his kid. There's no fixing that. Nah, nah. How to fix it is you looking for the biological dad. That's how you fix it. That's how you fix that. Ain't no more money coming your way. That's not his kid. That's not his kid, man. I'm not going to be subjected to take care of somebody else's kid after I find out that it was, it's not mine. And what makes it so bad after eight years. I mean, for whatever reason this man took to go and get a paternity test is beyond me. I'm If that was me, I would have been took one long time ago. Sometimes in these modern times, fellas, drivers... Drivers, you just can't take the woman's word no more. No more. You, you just can't do it no more. You got to make sure that that baby's yours. After she has it, maybe if you're there at the birth, which is supposed to be a joyous occasion, but it's kind of crazy if you take that paternity test at the time of the birth, then you find out that the baby's not yours and you. Whew. Now, maybe, you know, maybe the guy would feel some kind of way that he'd been in that child's life for over eight years. That's all that child see is him as the father. I mean, it's kind of hard to sit down with the kid and be like, look, man. I know I've been in your life as your father for the last eight years, but I'm sorry you're not my kid. And being that this was brought on by your mother, I'm not going to sit here and be mean to you, but I am going to sit here and tell you that I won't be around no more. So drivers, let me know. What's, what, what's your thoughts about this? I mean, do, do the mom have a legitimate reason to try to fix, quote unquote, fix it? Or again, like I said, she should just go ahead and find, uh, find the baby's father. That's what I think. I think she should have a heart to heart with the kid as well. You know? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, all right? That's going to do it for this segment of Breaking Truckers on the Lockout Man Podcast Show.